Let's learn in this video how to deploy a BICEP template into Azure Cloud using Azure DevOps Pipelines. The objective here is that we automate the deployment of resources into our cloud environment. Let's see how that works. To get started here, I want to start with this GitHub repository where I have put the ARM, BICEP and the Azure Pipelines YAML files. And then in my Azure subscription, I have an empty subscription here. And into this subscription, I want to deploy an Azure web app and a database using Azure BICEP. So from here, I have cloned the GitHub repository. Here I have the ARM template that can deploy the web app and the database. This is using JSON syntax. So it's uh, better for machines, but it's not really that, uh, read that much readable for a human. So for that, we have Azure BICEP. And here I have a sample Azure BICEP template. This one is using the BICEP language that is somehow like the YAML uh, language with some differences, of course. So this template here will start by defining some parameters that are going to be the web app name, the SKU for the app service, the version that is using PHP for my web app, and the location of the resources that will be created that's going to be uh, inherited from the resource group location. And then we have two variables, the app uh, service plan name, that's going to be the app uh, plan name, and then the web app name for my uh, resource. And here we are creating two resources. First resource is the app service plan uh, that is will be using uh, the server farms. And then it's using the version 2020.06.01 from uh, Atom uh, Resource Manager. It, is, uh, it will have the, those different uh, variables defined to define the app service plan, like the name, the location, the SKU, the kind, it's going to be Linux, not Windows, and the, some of the properties right here. And then the second resource is going to be the app service. So that's going to create an Azure app service. Uh, it will have the name specified in the variables, and then the location, the kind, it should be an app, and then some of the properties that we can configure right here. So typically, you can deploy this template using the Azure CLI tool using uh, AZ deployment group create. Okay, but we want to automate this. Uh, uh, we want to automate this process. So for that, we'll be using Azure DevOps. So coming back to Azure DevOps here, where I, where I have created a new project and I have created a new pipeline by going to pipelines, then uh, clicking on new pipeline and let you let be guided by Azure DevOps in order to specify your GitHub repository and then import the existing pipeline in my GitHub repository from here from Azure pipelines that I'm going to be using today, which is this pipeline. So I have already done that. So with that, I'll get access to that Azure DevOps pipelines. This pipeline will be triggered each time we have a commit or a pull request. You can change that, of course. And then we are defining some variables that will be, need, will be needed for this pipeline. Those variables are the resource group name, because here we will deploy the BICEP template into a resource group. So we need to create that resource group first. And that's what I'm doing right here. And then we have some other variables, the app name, the location, and the template file, which is under the folder, under uh, this folder. So I want to run that into uh, from within the Ubuntu uh, build agent. And then for the steps, I start, actually, I would have two main steps for this pipeline. So first step that I would have here are using both actually are using the Azure CLI tool. So if I go to its settings, so this is using the Azure CLI. So it needs to connect to my Azure subscription using a connection, uh, a service connection. And I have already created one. So if you click onto here, you will get your subscription and the service connections. And you click on the, subs on the targeted subscription and Azure DevOps will create a service principle automatically for you and it will configure it into your pipeline. So that's what I have created for myself using the this first one. The type of the script here, I'm, I want to use shell as I want to run that into an Ubuntu machine. And I want to specify the script as inline script. So I want to run it inside the task itself. So here, what I'm doing in this script is that I'm running AZ version to get the version, the specified version of Azure CLI used here. And then I create the resource group where to deploy the ARM template. And then here I have the main um, the main 
uh, line or the main command that's going to be group what if. So this is actually before deploying the atom or before deploying the bicep template, I want to get an overview about the resources that will be created for me before creating them. So that's what I'm doing with the, with the command what if. So I specify the resource group, the template and the parameters and then the overview will be showed for me. So then later, if I'm okay with that uh, resources or with the changes that will be made by the template, I can move to the second step, which is the Azure, uh, again, using Azure CLI and specifying the Azure subscription through, through the connection, uh, through the service connection. And then on the inline script, I write here IZ deployment group create, and then I specify the resource group, the template file, and the parameters that we can override from here. Note that this parameter is already defined from within the bicep template, and we can override those parameters. So let's go now to click run and see how this works. that will start immediately running the pipeline. I'll go to jump to an old running pipeline. So I'll go to this one, for example. And then here we can see the two steps for previewing the bicep changes, which will be shown at the last uh, line right here, which is telling me here that this template will create two resources for me, which are going to be the Azure App Service and the App Service Plan. And then next, if I go to deploy, it will tell me that everything was deployed uh, successfully and it shows me here the um, JSON for the deployed resources. So after that's run successfully, if I go back to my Azure subscription, click refresh to view the resource groups, then here I can see that new resource group created by the a pipeline and then inside I can see the resources deployed by the bicep template which includes the Azure App Service and the App Service plan. So this was a simple pipeline with just one stage. Follow me next in the next video to view a, a more complete pipeline using two stages, one for previewing the changes and also for, uh, for checking if that bicep template respects the best practices defined by Azure Test Toolkit for ARM templates, and then adding manual approval so that we'll have a group of people reviewing the changes that will be made by the bicep and clicking on the approve button in order to proceed to deploying the resources into the Azure Cloud.